when there are one or two lynchings, they want the entire Hindu community to say not in my name. They yes. say Jai Shri Ram is a war cry. They say Hindus are lynchers and Hindus are terrorists. Bhagwa Atankwa. But when the entire world is suffering due to what Taliban is doing in the name of Islam and the same Deobandi Islam, which is very much present in India, which is being endorsed by many people, including Arshad Madhini of Jamia Tulema Hind, who said that there should be no co-education. He said it and yes. Taliban said it at the same time. Hello, Namaste and welcome to Chitti Media. This is your host Sharan Sethi. And in today's current affairs show, we have a very popular guest that needs absolutely no introduction, yet deserves one. He's a political analyst and the only lone warrior who stood up against the Gandhis in the International Congress. And now he's rerouted to the Bharatiya ideology. Please join me in welcoming Shahzadji. Shahzadji, how are you? Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very good. Thank you. I hope you're safe because we are still living through a pandemic. We are safe as long as we live in India and all Muslims are safest only in India. They have realized this. That's why they don't want to go to any 55 countries which are Muslim countries. They all want to come to India. And this Absolutely. shows that those who lie about India, they are getting a slap on their face by what we see across the world. Absolutely. Already starting with the Six, uh, so Shazadji, I really look forward to the interview. And uh, the first question that I have for you is that just today we received the news of founder, father, financier of Kashmiri separatism and Kashmiri terror, Syed Ali Shah Gilani, was dead. Now, India, he put India through decades of terrorism. He radicalized a lot of youth. Shazadji, is this the final nail in the coffin? See, uh... Syed Ali Shah Gilani was the original Talibani. He was the original person who actually created a Taliban-like situation in Kashmir. He did not want cinema halls. He did not want music. They wanted to take uh, Kashmir back into the 7th century, just like Taliban are doing with Afghanistan. So he was the original Talibani. He was never for even the people of Jammu Kashmir. In fact, he was a Dalal of Pakistan. It's been written in many books. It's been uh, put out in documents. And also he said that he felt like a Pakistani. He wanted to take Jammu Kashmir into Pakistan. So he was never somebody who abided by the Indian constitution at all. He was a traitor of India. And therefore, those who are always uh, trying to have tea and coffee with these separatists, with these uh, terrorists who tried to mollycoddle them, who tried to reach out to them, they are also the people who actually did, never wanted Jammu Kashmir or the issue of Jammu Kashmir to be solved. Now, as far as uh, his death being the final nail in the coffin, well, his death and the kind of actions that have been taking place in Jammu Kashmir ever since the abrogation of Article 370 has led to the final finale against terrorism in India and in Jammu Kashmir particularly. If you see, terrorism has come down by 50-60%. Stone pelting has come down by 90%. But then there are some people who I call as terrorists without guns, who continue to have the soch of Taliban and soch of Gilani in them. And those people continue to eulogize Gilani. They continue to say Taliban is very good. Taliban acha hai, 2.0 hai, badal gaya hai. These people till the time they exist, I think the threat of terrorism and the threat of uh, separatism always exists in India. Absolutely, Shazaji. Even if we have to look at uh, the arrests that are being made uh, across Uttar Pradesh, Assam, a person was even arrested from where I am in Karnataka for expressing sympathy and that too not in private but in public on social media that they're very happy with what is happening in Afghanistan and that there has to be a replica of such Islamic emirate in India as well. We still haven't really solved the domestic problem, have we? Because a chief minister, nonetheless, in Himanto Biswa Sarma, he has to come out and appeal for public calm because a few miscreants have posted such, uh, uh, such radical uh, content on social media. You see, 
Taliban is just one variant. And just like Taliban is one variant, there are other variants of that same virus in India also. I would say one is Taliban with Hathiyar and one is Taliban in India doing their PR. And this PR wala mm-hmm. Taliban, just like the Taliban with Hathiyar, both of them have a common ideology. They have a common goal and they have common means and methodologies. They both want Islamic State. They both want Sharia over Samvidhan. They both want the same means to be adopted, the overthrowing of the Indian state or the overthrowing of democracy. Sharia is not compatible with democracy. Wherever there is Sharia, there is no democracy. And these people also want that there should be no democracy. And therefore, you saw so many people came out in support of Taliban. These people are the same people who have continuously batted for Sharia. Mr. Burke from Samajwadi Party, he has in the past supported Sharia law. You have seen Peace Party. They have also supported Sharia law. They want nizam mustafa You have seen Mehbuba Mufti. You have seen how she has also supported this kind of Islamic extremism. She has never condemned the genocide of Kashmiri Hindus. You mm-hmm. have seen even Congress Party today has come out in support of Taliban and they have said that Taliban people are revolutionaries. Well, if they are revolutionaries, then what is Bhagat Singh? So these are the people and these people in the past have they have supported Sharia also. When it came to triple talaq uh, law, they said, no, 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 Sharia should be there. It should not right. be a triple talaq law. In 1980s also, when Supreme Court had taken a stand in the Shabanu case, they overturned it. They heard the voice of Sharia. So these are the people who want Sharia and therefore they find Taliban to be very good. They come and do PR for Taliban. There is one journalist also, she has also said that now the strategy is only the strategy, not the thought. And therefore, even those people who are coming out and condemning Taliban, like Nasiruddin Shah, well, have they changed their strategy or have they changed their search? There is a big question mark on that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I mean, according to many of these people, Bhagat Singh was no more than a communist and that is where history stops for them. Uh, very rightly said. And since you spoke about uh, Naziruddin Shahji, and uh, he earlier today or uh, yesterday, he came out with a video where he strongly condemned uh, several Indian Muslims, like rightly said, who are expressing sympathy for the Taliban. And he was viciously attacked uh, for you know proposing um, an Islam that can have Indian and uh, Hindustani ideals. Now, how do you respond to these people who are absolutely rejecting such uh, thoughts See, they are very big opportunists. They were the same people, this Rifat Javed, Arfa Sherwani, and all these other people. Uh, they are not important enough actually to be named. They were the ones who were supporting Nasiruddin Shah when Nasiruddin Shah said, Dar ka mahol hai, in 2018. Yes. When he said that Indian Muslims can't stay here. Then today when Nasiruddin Shah, for whatever reason, maybe he's a good actor, so he's doing some kalakari, and he's saying something to them that listen, ye vaishipan, ye sadyo se chala aata vaishipan, isse hume dur hatna padega. So today they have converted him into an Islamophobe. They cannot tolerate even him showing the mirror to these people or to the radicals in uh, the community of Muslims. So this shows that they are very big opportunists. Aaj unko Nasiruddin Shah bhi pasand nahi hai. They only like one face of Nasiruddin Shah, and that is of Gulfam Hassan. Those who have seen Sarfarosh will remember who was Gulfam Hassan. So today, because Gulfam Hassan has spoken the truth, they do not like Gulfam Hassan. Right. Absolutely rightly said. But uh, if I have to move on to my final question, and which is a much more serious one, um, Shazad ji, what threats are we facing? Because obviously, like you said, there have been positive developments in the Kashmir Valley. Uh, but if we have to reimagine a 1996 scenario, when we had the re-emergence of insurgents in India, what has changed from then? And are we prepared to tackle it? Look, there are there is a very big security threat with the takeover of Taliban in Afghanistan simply because Taliban is a test tube baby of Pakistan and the Pakistani ISI and the Pakistani establishment. Pakistani establishment is already acknowledging that humne hi inko pala posa hai. Yes. Taliban has Haqqani network. Haqqani network has 
been declared as a terrorist uh, by even the Americans. They have attacked Indian assets also. So all of these things are there in the history of Taliban. The Taliban is today a bunch of people who have gone from Pakistani madrasas and taken over Afghanistan. Therefore, Afghanistan people also don't want Taliban. They are rejecting Taliban and they have actually tried to escape from Taliban. You have seen the visuals, how they were trying to escape from Taliban, even trying to catch on to the plane and the wings or the tires of the plane. But the most important point is that this is the Narendra Modi government. This government has not allowed any single big civilian attack or te terrorist attack on civilians. There have been terrorist attacks in Jammu Kashmir, Pulwama, and uh, most notably at uh, Pulwama. But they have made sure that such kind of terrorist attacks, like 2611 attack, like the attack that took place in so many cities, you would remember every second week there would be a terrorist attack. Such kind of terrorist attacks have not taken place under the Modi regime. Yeah. This is because internal security is being paid attention to. This is because when a terrorist attack took place at Pulwama, we went and gave a proper response to Pakistan and we have given Pakistan a clear-cut indication that if they do any kind of mischief, they will get a surgical strike, they will get a balakot airstrike and they should not try to meddle with India. We have also taken steps to improve our own internal security. And right. similarly, we have told Taliban also. People are saying we have started engaging with Taliban. People are saying we have endorsed Taliban. No, we have neither endorsed neither have we engaged with Taliban. We have only given them a list and told them very clearly that this is what we want. Do not try to use your Afghan soil for any anti-India activities. And if there are people in Afghanistan, even if they are not Indians, they are Afghan Hindus, they are Afghan Sikhs, then let them come to India. Do not stop them. We yeah. have already told Taliban what we as a country expect from them. And if they do not listen, if there is any kind of misbehavior, then I'm sure that the appropriate action will also be taken at the appropriate time. It is not sensible to disclose all these things in the public domain. So I think that while we have to be very careful, while we have to take our own precautions and preventions at our own level, we have to also see that Taliban will collude with Pakistan to destabilize Jammu Kashmir, that there are some people sitting in India who will help them. Yes. We have to also be very careful that we have to deal with this security threat both from outside and from inside. And right. therefore, Narendra Modi government, whatever steps it is taking, we have to support these steps and ensure that no traitor can destabilize this country. Absolutely. So you're very confident that the government can handle this to its best effect. We all hope that there will be no situation that will then end up in India taking such an action that those who are trying to meddle with us or trying to provoke us, well, then they will have to pay the price for it. Right. Absolutely. Shazaji, I know you're out of time, but I have a small follow-up if you're okay with it. Sure. Now, we were talking about these Talibani sympathizers within India. Now, there are two parallel questions which I would like to link with this. Uh, one is that if you if we look at the root cause of the Diobandi uh, ideology that is spreading evil in Afghanistan and across uh, other areas of the world, it, it originates a few kilometers away from Delhi. Now we are seeing uh, West Bengal and uh, Kerala also becoming hubs of radical uh, terror. Now, what a few liberals, a few leftists are saying is that why do Indian Muslims have to apologize? They do not have to prove their patriotism. And this is one of the shadowy reasons they're using. They're using this as a blanket to cover their agenda. So do Indian Muslims really need to prove their patriotism? Or what is the solution to end such uh, toxic discourse? See, first of all, look at the hypocrisy. And I don't think these people are liberals. I call them Taliberals, Talibani liberals. Their hypocrisy is so grave. When there are one or two lynchings, they want the entire Hindu community to say, not in my name. They yes. say Jai Shri Ram is a war cry. They say Hindus are lynchers and Hindus are terrorists. Bhagwa Atankwa. But when the entire world is suffering, due to what Taliban is doing in the name of Islam and the same Deobandi Islam, which is very much present in India, 
which is being endorsed by many people, including Arshad Madhini of Jamia Tulema Hind, who said that there should be no co-education. He said it and yes. Taliban said it at the same time. You have Nomani of the All India Muslim Personal Law Board who said Taliban is great. You have Peace Party Shadab Chauhan. You have Samajwadi Party's Bark. You have Congress's Iqbal Ansari. All of them who believe in the same version of Islam supported Taliban. Well, now those so-called liberals don't want them to take a stand that what is happening in the name of Islam is wrong. Why shouldn't they take a stand? Why shouldn't all people be asked to condemn Taliban? And what is the two views on condemning Taliban? Just because they have done a press conference, does that mean Taliban is doing very good things? They were standing behind the anchor with AK-47. Is that press freedom? They boycotted or they prevented female journalists from coming back to work. Is that your liberal values? They are capturing and abducting journalists and killing them. They are capturing 12, 15 year old girls and raping them. Is this all liberalism? Where is that entire lobby that speaks about women's rights? Where is that entire lobby that speaks about rights of Muslims? Uh, particularly when something happens in Gaza, they are chest beating. Today, when the Muslim community is being killed by Taliban in Afghanistan, in Kabul, why is this a uh, bunch of uh, so-called liberals not out of the streets? When there is mass lynching of people in the name of this so-called Talibani Islamist ideology from Jammu Kashmir to Kanyakumari, why are these people not taking a stand? The same people expect that a stand should be taken by the Hindu community on every issue under the sun. So these are double standards. In fact, these people, I call them more dangerous than Taliban. They're intellectual Talibans. They are actually the ones who prepare the fertile ground of ideology for Taliban to then penetrate into. So therefore, before we fight Taliban, we should fight the intellectual patrons of Taliban. And those people have to be identified on a daily basis. Absolutely. What you've just said will resonate with a lot of our viewers and a lot of people in this country, and they'll have extremely um, uh, good things to say about uh, whatever you've advanced. Thank you so much, Shazaji. Every time uh, we speak to you, it's an absolute pleasure. And I hope a lot of people do watch this and reflect on what you've uh, just said. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Thank you so much. Jai and Jai Bharat. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.